Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. Hi, how was your watch? Any problems? Nothing serious. But about an hour ago, there was an alarm in the control room that showed the water level was low in the diesel generator cooling system. But it didn't fall to the critical point. So, did you add some water? Yes, but, but keep an eye on the water level during your watch. Okay, will do. A high-speed passenger Roro ferry had completed loading and was getting ready to leave her berth. As part of the departure routine, the crew began raising the aft ramps. The port ramp was in the process of being raised and had almost reached the fully stowed position when the lifting wire parted and the ramp fell back onto the link span. Luckily, on this occasion, no one was injured. A high-speed passenger Roro ferry had completed loading and was getting ready to leave her berth. As part of the departure routine, the crew began raising the aft ramps. The port ramp was in the process of being raised and had almost reached the fully stowed position when the lifting wire parted and the ramp fell back onto the link span. Luckily, on this occasion, no one was injured. Do you know how many emails I got today? How many? About 250. You're kidding. I wish I was. And do you know what makes me really mad? Let me guess. They're so long, you stop reading after a few seconds. Well, some of them are like that, but that's not the main problem. Uh, there are too many attachments. That can sometimes be a problem. Oh, I give up. What is it? It's the fact that I'm always being copied into emails that have nothing to do with me. They're irrelevant. So, what system operates on this ship? It's four hours on, then eight hours off. It's a lot safer that way and we're well rested. So, we have three watches, right? Yes, we have watches Alpha, Bravo and Charlie. On my last ship, it was six hours on and six hours off. You must have found that incredibly tiring. Well, believe it or not, I'd actually prefer four hours on and four hours off if I had the chance. You are kidding. Well, I suffer from insomnia and never sleep more than four hours in any case. So it suits me, to be honest. Good morning. You're through to Marlins. How can I help you? Uh, hello. I'd uh, like to speak to Andy, please. I'm sorry. He's in a meeting at the moment. Can I put you through to Chris instead? Or would you like to leave a message? Uh, no, it's, it's okay, thanks. I'll call back later. When your plane gets in next Monday, a representative from our shipping agency will be there to meet you. He'll be holding up a sign. Look, that's not good enough. The last time I blew into Moscow, there were literally hundreds of agents holding up signs. It was impossible to find the agent. It took me an hour and a half to get through immigration, and I don't think he was even there when I finally reached arrivals. In the end, I had to get myself across Moscow in a taxi. How do I know the same thing won't happen again? OK, what about if I describe him to you? <sighs> it's still not good enough when there are so many people. OK, what about if I tell him to wait next to the money exchange rather than with the rest of the agents? Yes, that sounds a better arrangement.
Guess how many years it takes for an aluminium can to degrade? Is it about 50 years? No, it's much longer than that. It's about 200 years. And what about plastic bottles? How long do you think they take? Oh, I don't know. They take 450 years, you know. Well, it would be the same for that bread you made yesterday, wouldn't it? I guess it would take about 450 years to degrade. Oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs>They've just got all their garbage in heaps on the deck. Nothing has been segregated. It's caused a lot of problems for all the people working in the port. The port state inspectors were furious when they saw the gangway and refused to even board until the master had sorted it out. I'm surprised they didn't insist on putting a safety harness on before going on board. Have you seen the state of the crew? I haven't seen one pair of safety shoes. They all seem to live in flip-flops. Yeah, I don't think that vessel is ever going to leave this port.
What the hell is all this dust and rubbish blowing about? It's off that vessel, the one that's just been detained by the Port State inspectors. They've just got all their garbage in heaps on the deck. Nothing has been segregated. It's caused a lot of problems for all the people working in the port. The Port State inspectors were furious when they saw the gangway and refused to even board until the master had sorted it out. I'm surprised they didn't insist on putting a safety harness on before going on board. Have you seen the state of the crew? I haven't seen one pair of safety shoes. They all seem to live in flip-flops. Yeah, I don't think that vessel is ever going to leave this port. I didn't get much sleep last night. Your coughing kept me awake. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I can't seem to get rid of this chest infection. Yes, there is quite a lot of sickness on board. Some of the ratings have a fever and high temperature. Apparently, the chief officer is in bed with violent stomach pains too. It's just as well we are coming into port. We need to see a doctor. I didn't get much sleep last night. Your coughing kept me awake. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I can't seem to get rid of this chest infection. Yes, there is quite a lot of sickness on board. Some of the ratings have a fever and high temperature. Apparently, the chief officer is in bed with violent stomach pains too. It's just as well we are coming into port. We need to see a doctor. It's really busy. Anything to report? Yes. This is one of the busiest areas. You have to really concentrate. These fishing vessels just don't seem to follow any rules. Hmm. I've got my eye on that one over there. He could well be a pirate skiff. What's that in the distance? It's an LNG tanker. They don't like them coming too close to the coast. There are a lot of restrictions. They're really strict. And there's so many overcrowded ferries in this vicinity. There was an accident involving one just last month. It capsized in rough seas. Luckily, there were a few container vessels that managed to save quite a few of the passengers. I don't know what's going on in that galley. Yes, I don't think that cook is going to last long. Did you hear what happened this morning? No, what? Well, somehow the toaster caught fire which set the alarms off. He wasn't around at the time, then they found him in his cabin drinking whiskey. He said he was just having a small shot for his toothache. Well, I got him smoking on deck the other morning and he just threw his cigarette butt onto the deck without even putting it out. I think they're replacing him at the next port. So, have you ever been involved in any collisions, sir? Well, I've had a few near misses over the years, but I've been really lucky and haven't ever hit anything. What about the fire on board? That's the one thing that scares me the most. Thankfully, that's one thing I haven't had to deal with. Oh, yes, and I was on a vessel that grounded, but we were able to refloat at high tide.
What about pirate attacks, sir? Not as yet. But we may well be dealing with that next week, when we sail through the Gulf of Aden. So, have you ever been involved in any collisions, sir? Well, I've had a few near misses over the years, but I've been really lucky and haven't ever hit anything. What about a fire on board? That's the one thing that scares me the most. Thankfully, that's one thing I haven't had to deal with. Oh yes, and I was on a vessel that grounded, but we were able to refloat at high tide. What about pirate attacks, sir? Not as yet, but we may well be dealing with that next week, when we sail through the Gulf of Aden. What's your cargo? Who segregated the garbage? Who segregated the garbage? Have you segregated the garbage? Have you segregated the garbage? Look at them working aloft on that other vessel. Look at them working aloft on that other vessel. Why can't we go on deck? You need to call the shipping agent. His extension number is 4127. I'll give you my email. It's penton6170 at hotmail.com. I'll give you my email. It's penton6170 at hotmail.com. Did you know? that for every death, there are approximately 2,500 near misses at sea. Did you know that for every death, there are approximately 2,500 near misses at sea? The ship's current course is 180 degrees. This vessel was built in the year 2000.
Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you want to say thank you for the creator, please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video for you.